in 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days, which was a very lofty challenge for myself. But I was learning the mixed media genre, and I was experimenting and exploring the different techniques. This was the second card that I created here on the left, and this is the redo that you are seeing now. My goal for 2022 is to do the same altered playing cards, 52 of them, but not in 52 days. I'm going to complete them in 52 weeks and visit one per week. So this is the second card that I went back, looked at, and recreated. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have a very eclectic taste. I like to experiment with different medias, mediums and explore. If you like that, please hit that subscribe button. And I always appreciate your comments. That notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. And here are some other places that you can find me around the web. So to get started with this card, I just utilized a piece of white notebook paper. I spray painted that notebook paper with a spray paint that was called Arctic Glass. It was a transparent um, kind of a finish type paint, like an acrylic um, spray medium like you would get to, to uh, varnish something. So I did that, but I also and I lost the footage for this, put it down on a piece of parchment paper, shave some candle wax on it, put the other piece of parchment paper on top, hit that with a dry iron. And when I did that, that piece of paper became very transparent, as you can see here. So this is sprayed with the Arctic Sea glass and then coated with candle wax, which I shaved onto the paper put the paper between two pieces of parchment paper and hit it with a dry iron. Now I'm just going to glue that onto the card and this is going to make my very transparent background for this quick, easy, and simple card. So we're working on the two of spades and you can see that uh, right through this background. Now I have this piece of napkin. It's half of a napkin that was in my, my scrap bin. And the color of this flower, I thought, worked really well with the background that I've chosen. So I just pulled that down to the single ply and am mod podging it with my glue and water mixture onto the card. And I've allowed that to dry. And now I'm just going to trim around the outside edge and get that outside edge nice and neat and clean. Now, the glue and water recipe that I use will be in the description below. Now I'm pulling out some store-bought gesso and am just kind of turning it back a little bit. And I am going to use some bubble wrap just to distress that gesso a little bit on top of this card. Once I have that done, I am going to ink, just, I have this tumbled glass distress oxide ink and it is very similar to the colors I'm using. So I'm just going to put that on top of that gesso and, and make that gesso more in line with the color of the card. And now I've just scribbled a squiggly line on that paper, scrap of paper and dotted, dotted on adjoining squiggles or, you know, down the side, just kind of a zen tangle, zen tangle type of, of little illustration. And I've laid that on some white cheesecloth. And I'm just spraying the outside edges of that cheesecloth because I, I like that distressed look. There you go. Very quick. Very easy, very simple card. So this this was done in, in 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes or less. And I think this would make a great journaling card to put just plain coffee dyed paper or something on the back of it, stick it down inside it, your journal, and it would be a very cute journaling card. I also think it would make a very attractive ATC 
if we wanted to do some ATC trades. So this has multiple purposes, and I think it, it could also be a nice focal point on an art journaling page or, or even on a cover of, of a junk journal. So I hope you like it. It was, once again, very quick, very easy, very similar to the card that I did last year, but just a little brighter, a little, um, I think, uh, more uplifting, if you will. So I hope you like it. And once again, thank you for stopping by my channel. I do really appreciate you being here, and the playlist is in the upper right corner. Bye for now.